Welcome to today's episode of Flipper's Gonna Flip, Inspector's Going to Inspect. All right, today I got a really nice, pretty house, and the flipper came in, he made it look beautiful. He put nice gates on it, new kitchen, new floors, new paint, LED lights throughout the house, but a lot of times I see this almost pretty much once, a while, once or twice a week, they don't replace the big stuff. You know, galvanized water lines, roof, sometimes they see stuff, insulation in the attic, they leave out that big stuff because people will buy these houses without looking at the most things most important. All right, let's go see what I'm gonna, <laughs> let's go see what I'm gonna go find. Let's go check it out. Okay, so with this freshly remodeled home, the property is 1973. And in the Houston area, one of the most common water pipes used in, the, in that decade is galvanized water lines. In galvanized water lines, they have a 50 year lifespan and we installed them 50 years ago. So what does that mean? That they're going out across the city and they're developing these small pinholes. So how you identify that is you start on the exterior of your home by the main water shutoff and you can identify it by just looking at what type of water pipes in place. You can see right here, we have galvanized going inside and then we have PVC at the base. So they've had issues in the past. And my rule of thumb is, if you've had problems in one spot in the property, you're gonna have problems somewhere else. So they spent all this money updating the kitchens and bathrooms and floors, but they didn't repair one of the most important items is the galvanized water lines. The second item you can identify if they spent money in the right places whenever they were flipping the home is actually just by looking at the roof. You don't need to get on the roof to tell that this roof has some issues. There's some several issues that you can identify just from the ground, and then it looks even worse up there. So we're gonna head up there, but I'm gonna scan the base just by walking around so you get an idea that you can identify a poor roof from the ground level. Stepping on this roof, I hope the wind doesn't get in the way too much. If it does, I'm sorry. I don't have my proper mic for the camera today. But some of the things that sticks out to me as soon as I get on the roof is I notice there's a lot of granule loss across the roof. But it's not just the granule loss that sticks out to me, it's the type of shingles they use to replace or repair the areas that they had some water issues. And then also they used a lot of tar. Remember, tar is just temporary on a roof repair. I'm gonna just scan over this real quick and then we're gonna run into the attic. I'm gonna show you some of the things I found in there too. Okay, headed up the ladder into the attic space, there's several things that stick out to me. One good sign is, is that I notice they have all new ductwork in place. Several things wrong with the ductwork. It wasn't tied in correctly to one of the returns and it's gonna be leaking air, all the insulation's pulled loose. So they added in some new ductwork but they didn't repair the old stuff in place. The next thing is I noticed there's no insulation or very little insulation where they move stuff around to get to things. They didn't reapply the insulation. The third item is, as I noticed in the back over here where I talked about the galvanized water lines in the front of the house, I can see where they made repairs. Also going back to the rule of thumb, if they had problems in one area, they're gonna have problems in another. But the way they tied it in, they didn't do it correctly and they didn't add dielectric unions to where they repaired the new water lines onto the galvanized. So it will eventually corrode. It hasn't corroded yet. The next item is, I know there's a lot of water stains. Yes, they had it in the new roof or new repairs, but the repairs aren't done correctly and they're going to leak there again. And uh, the chimney that hasn't been rep repaired yet, they also, uh, you can see water stains around there too. So that is an active leak. There's several other things going on up here, but you gotta remember, this is just about 
you know, flippers just making stuff look good and not repairing the things that are the most important in the home. Insulation, water lines, proper roof repairs. This stuff will eventually cost you money. Try to look past the nice kitchens and the nice bathrooms. All right, let me go outside. I almost forgot about this. I wanted to talk about the grading. You can repair the foundation, but if you don't do the grading properly, it will cause issues in the future. Head back outside real quick. One of the first things I noticed too on this house is they had some prior foundation repair. We noticed the floors were a little off slope. One thing good about foundation repair, most companies, they provide a warranty and they'll repair any further damage to the structure, but only in the areas they've done repairs to. Going back to it though, whenever they repair the foundation, one of the things they didn't do is repair the grading on the structure. If you don't fix the grading the way the water flows around the structure, the structure will move again. Water's the number one reason why your foundation fails. And the, a lot of the areas, water's sitting right next to the foundation or it's not flowing away. You want a minimum of a 1% grade of going away from the structure. I know in these older homes it's hard because we built everything flat. There's things you can do. You can add in surface strains or you can at least keep it flat and it's not gonna be sloped towards. We just wanna try to keep the water as far away from the structure as possible. You can also add gutters as well. So let me uh, scan around the property so you can get an idea of what I'm looking at. You can see that the that the water's sloping towards the structure and uh, then we'll close out this video. I'm gonna close this video out next to this beautiful water heater flue. It's just so, so great, so good. Okay, anyways, uh, there you go. Just, I don't even care if you really do it backwards whenever you're looking at the property. Decide that you wanna buy this property and then just take a, maybe five, 10 minutes and go look at some of the most important items on the structure, like the roof, water lines, maybe just walk around, look for foundation cracks or something. And then if you have, any questions or issues, shoot me an email, shoot me some texts, and I'll, I'll help you out. Also, um, that's it. If you like these type of videos, please take the time and subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell, and then also share them. All right, thanks guys, take it easy. Have a good one, bye.